Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Alright, Grape Garden 3 is up next, which is one of my personal favorite levels of the game for one particular reason. It features airships, and airships are awesome. Let's jump in. Before I start, I gotta lose my fire power up, unfortunately. The reason for it is because I need the fire power up right here for the one single purpose of lighting this fuse. Jump in it, get in the cannon, and wait a few seconds, and, uh... FIRE IN THE HOLE! He gets sent straight up into the sky and there's an extra life. Literally free real estate. I don't need the fire power up anymore, and why it does- Why that cannon does not go straight into this section, I have no clue, but enter that door, and there's airships. So, there's a lot to- there's a lot of ground here. By the end of this, I need to have a cutter power- power up. Fortunately, there's quite a few of them here. But anyway, there's three doors to deal with. The first door is all the way over here. And inside here is not nothing real special other than the maximum tomato, but if you need it, you need it. Now the next main focus is simply going towards the main ship. And uh, the main reason for that is number one, no, oh, that didn't work. But at least there's a cutter right there. That door is the correct door, so avoid it for now. We're gonna go all the way to its cargo bay at the very back. There's a door right there. Go inside this door for the fourth switch of the game, which opens up a museum. Cool stuff. Go in here, and, well, pretty much just run against the current. I still need to get myself a cutter power up, but fortunately I can get one more as I enter the main room. So go in here, and, uh, well, you're still being carried by the current even while inside, which... May or may not make sense, I don't know, these airships never existed. The closest we've had are Zeppelins, which are nothing more than humongous blimps. And, uh, even then, uh, with them being as close as they are, it's not like there's propellers up and down and to the side everywhere. Not to mention, they're not totally made of wood. Anyway, cut through everything here, blow up everything you possibly can. And there's also this thing if you need it, which I will take. And there is the warp star to leave the airship convoy. Bye airships, you guys were fun. I'll see you later though. And that's about it. All that's left is just to climb up these uh, clouds. And that's about it. I'll just fly across everything. And that's the end of Great Garden 3, which is... Oh, yikes, that was terrible. Um, yeah, it is one of my personal favorite stages of the game. And with that, uh, we're done here. Next up, we cover the museum. Let's see what we got in this place. Um, sleep and fall? Are you serious? This is more than useless. And this is useless. This whole museum is more useless than our freaking paper dollar is. Oh god, that's gonna go, that's gonna age well on it. Yikes. Um, anyway, there's an arena with this guy. This is actually why I had the cutter power up. Wanted the cutter power up in the first place, because these guys suck. They suck to fight. There's a maximum tomato if you need it. That gives backdrop, obviously, if you want it. Exit. We're done. Now we have Great Garden 4 to deal with, which continues the airship trend. Although you have no uh, guts going on. So, you're free to kind of do whatever, but in any case, this one is pretty cool. And, uh, sorry, you're going down. Don't shoot. At least I get my cutter back. And it all is working out kind of nicely. Takes care of all that. Loser. Go inside the airship for this weird scenario, in which case, uh, we have birds. Okay, at least that one disappears. Get rid of the Scarpy, because Scarpy suck. Go across all this. Oh, you're gonna blow yourself up. I know how that one plays out. Alright, that one will just disappear. And that's about it. Okay, this section. 
You have only one real chance of doing this, but we're gonna take it. Grab the willpower up, and what this is, is basically you have to do this correctly. Take this little minute to just kind of practice a little bit, but uh, as soon as you hit that bomb, you're gonna be running against the timer, and if you can make it to the very end before it disappears, you will have a one-up and something inside an extra room. We're gonna take this chance. Got it! Extra life. Inside here is, uh, well, actually, you just continue through the next room, apparently. I thought it actually gave something else, but maybe I'm thinking otherwise. Anyway, there's a beam power. I'm gonna take that one. Go up here, and there's another one of these guys, which I'm just gonna blast away with a beam. But, uh, they do still annoy the crap out of you. Dar oh, crap. There goes my power up. Ah, oh, jeez. This is gonna suck. Gotcha. At least I'll get myself a power up, which is the throw command. But now I'm down to freaking one point. Hopefully nothing goes wrong here. Get nuked! Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can throw in multiple directions, which is cool. It kind of just cuts through these things with relative ease. We'll go upwards there. And that covers the whole, uh, that's 4-4. Overall, a pretty neat stage, but, uh... Yikes, that one got a little bit nerve-wracking at the end. At least I got through it. Anyway, seven minutes of recording time, and uh, unfortunately for me, I gotta run four or five with one HP. This is gonna suck, but I gotta do it. Anyway, I'm gonna close things here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.